If you're planning on baking your own bread this Thanksgiving, KCRA3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick shares some recipes to make it a whole lot easier for you. Everybody loves those little crescent rolls that you snap the can, you hear yep. the little pop. But dirty little secret. Dirty little secret. Nothing wrong with that, but real homemade bread is so much better. And Patty Mastraco from Rayleigh's has some really great recipes for us today. We do. We have quick breads and we have yeast breads. So, and the difference is? Okay, in a nutshell, a quick bread is something that doesn't need to rise. So it's uh, you use baking powder, baking soda, the usual suspects, egg flour, milk, um, sugar, and it makes a batter or a soft dough, and you put it in the pan and bake it right away. Okay. So that's our chocolate bread and our blackberry bread, or something like a banana bread. But the yeast one? Yeast breads take a little bit more time. So the important thing to remember is uh, you can use either quick rise yeast or plain yeast. Quick rise takes half the time. But you have to sprinkle the yeast over warm water. Okay. So if you don't That's sprinkle it over warm it? water, it might not act, it be activated. It might not rise. Yep. So uh, basically, it's your water. Basically, it's water, yeast, mm -hmm. and flour and, and it's salt and a tiny while. bit of sugar. Yeah. Let it sit for a while. Knead it. So it uh, should become kind of tough when you knead it. You can do it with a mixer by hand. Just push it against the board, and then yeah, put it in a bowl and let it sit for an hour to two hours. And you got to wait till it doubles in doubles size. Doubles in size. Yep. And, and you, you need to cover it so it doesn't get uh, air going to it. Okay. Yep. So, so those are your two choices. Yes. Now let's talk about the yumminess. Um, okay. This is interesting. This is like an Irish soda bread, yeah. only way more dessert-like. It is, except I use unsweetened cocoa powder, so it's not super sweet. Okay. And then I put bittersweet chocolate chips in it. Nice. That'd be so great with a cup of coffee, wouldn't it? Really good. Maybe a little smear of cream cheese. Oh, I like it. Yeah. This yep. is beautiful down here. That is a blackberry bread, and it makes a nice, big, moist, fat loaf of bread, this, which is what I just love. It's just, it's full of uh, fresh blackberries, and I put lots of walnuts in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just fantastic midday snack. Question: breakfast. When you when you bake with fruit like that, do you want the fruit that's not quite ripe or that's still pretty firm? Actually, I like it when it is ripe. And I even mash these in the bowl a little bit with the back of the spoon so that they would release some of their juices oh, and okay. start to you know the the juices kind of mingle with the bread instead of just staying in one spot. Okay, yep. great. We got some nice man bread okay, in the front. Okay, yeah. So now these there are yeast breads, and this is just a really fast dough that is literally you know flour, sugar, salt. Uh, water, yeast, and then uh, let it rise, and then just roll it out into shapes like this. And then I immediately uh, brushed it with a little olive oil and grilled it on both sides. So it takes maybe four minutes to cook. Super fast, and it's just the homemade is so much it's better great. than the you know store bought. Um, I do do the store bought, I'll be honest, um, and I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> uh, but I like to pop it <laughs> in the toaster. You. Oh, that's Have a great idea. Have you ever idea. tried that? And, and it, it gets warms crunchy it up, on the outside. And it gets a little bubbly, and you can do a little olive oil. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's all about the texture, right? Crispy it on is. the outside, chewy on the inside. And then also the color. And you've gotten a really interesting color into these rolls this from is, an interesting oh, ingredient. Yeah, this is one of my favorite recipes. So I made, um, I put mashed yams in the dough, and it gives it this beautiful color. And then the glaze. Actually, has parsnips in it that I boiled and mashed, and then uh, put in butter and brown sugar and cinnamon. So you don't even taste the vegetables, but I snuck vegetables in. What made you think to do parsnip frosting? It's something I had in New York. Really? And I, yeah, I, I, it was actually on a pulled a pulled pork sticky bun. And hmm. ever since I had it, I thought I'm going to find a use for that. So interesting. Now, so when would you serve this? Would you serve this along breakfast. with it? Would be a breakfast? Yeah, thing. it's very sweet. It's got a, it's got the same cinnamon, uh, sugar, walnut filling. So it's crunchy, sweet, soft, yeah, really and delicious. And it counts as a vegetable, yep. which and is pretty cool, And then just our wonderful too. cinnamon swirl bread is just great toasted or makes good French toast. Or Total crowd pleaser right there. Yep. Very nice. Thank you. And all these recipes and other recipes can be found in the Something Extra. Yep. The new ones out. .com. And you can always go to Rayleigh's.com, Something Extra, and there are more recipes there. There's a, a, an extra Something Extra magazine online. Parsnip frosting. Parsnip frosting. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> and we'll be back with more right after this.